Trees and other plants help keep the planet cool, but rising levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are turning down this global air conditioner. Researchers at Carnegie's Department of Global Ecology, including Kin Caldera and Long Cao, have discovered that in some areas, more than a quarter of increased warming from carbon dioxide is caused by its impact on vegetation, as well as its greenhouse gas effects. Carbon dioxide also affects plants directly. Plants have little openings on their leaves called stomates, like pores, and these little openings get carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for the plant, but they also allow water to escape from the plant to the atmosphere. With higher carbon dioxide levels, the plants can close these pores or stomates and get the same amount of CO2, but releasing less water to the atmosphere. So as carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, plants can close their stomates, get the CO2 they need, but evaporate less water, resulting in less evaporative cooling. Averaged over the entire globe, the evapotranspiration effects of plants accounts for 16% of warming of the land surface, but in some regions the effects can be considerably larger. The researchers' model also predicts that high carbon dioxide will increase the runoff from the land surface in most areas. More water from precipitation bypasses the plant cooling system and flows directly into rivers and streams. Improved climate predictions will need to improve the representation of land plants in climate models. For climate modelers, it shows that representing how plants respond to carbon dioxide is very important to making good climate predictions. For a broader public policy, we need to take great care in considering what kind of changes we're going to make to, say, forest or other ecosystems, because these changes to the land surface are likely to have important climate consequences. The study is published in the May 3rd online edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.